getting your book printed seems to be a thing that really scares a lot of the independent authors I work with. I use CreateSpace. Go to createspace.com. Um, if you work through their services, your book ends up on Amazon, which is a big plus. You won't make much money from Amazon, but being able to tell people, yeah, you can go buy it on Amazon, helps reassure them that you're a real author and it's a real book. Um, if you've got a budget of a thousand or twelve hundred bucks for printing, consider finding a local books, book, uh, local printery. So there are some that specialize in book printing, and others that will print the interior. You can find a local printer and bindery that will print you the interiors, bind them, print the uh, dust jacket for you. You can probably get a hardcover book with a dust jacket for cheaper than ordering uh, a dozen copies at a time of a paperback. If you don't have a big budget for printing, and you're, if you're doing this on a shoestring or you just want to be cautious about how many you print, a print-on-demand service is a better choice. You can upload these files, the cover and the interior, at a high enough resolution for printing. It should be about 300 dpi, but 150 will work. If you don't know what that means, you should find someone who knows. Um, and then you order a proof copy. Now CreateSpace does this thing that's smart but maddening. Once you order the proof copy, you can't order anything else. You can't move forward until you click the I approve this proof. And of course, you shouldn't do that until you've looked at it. And I, I promise you, you're going to open the book and on the first page you're going to find something wrong. Or somewhere in there. You're going to find something that you never saw on the screen, that you never saw when you printed out the sample copies. You and five friends looked through it and you missed the fact that that title chapter is spelled wrong or something. You'll find it in print because it's been a while and because print just looks different. You get this book in your hand and it looks and feels different. It's going to happen. Expect it. It'll be fine. Go through it. Highlight everything that you can find. Have other people that you trust look through it and find stuff that needs to be fixed. Fix it. Upload it. Order another proof. Lather, rinse, repeat. You may end up going through five or six proofs. Um, I've been really fortunate and gotten a book right on the second proof. Um, but it's a process. Get it right. This is where you're going to get frustrated and say, that missing period's not going to matter that much. Well, it does. Um, in the end, you'll be unhappy if you settle at this point. Stick with it. Get this book as good as you can. And then, order however many copies you think you need. Order a couple dozen copies. But get ready for taking this book with you everywhere and selling it to people. Selling it to people, that's going to involve marketing, huh?